up everybody this is Derek Cullens coming to give you one of Derek's diamonds again one of my Derek's diamonds is really good tips for you for whatever you're trying to accomplish with your workouts with your eating and getting your body the way you want it to be so uh, diamonds are very important to people they're very valuable people spend lots of money on diamonds they treasure their diamonds so Derek diamonds are tips that I hope you treasure I hope that you uh, are serious about and that you value them uh, so that's all I can do is offer you that so today my Derek's diamond is five points or five steps to success let's say that you want to start working out and you want to get uh, let's say you want to build muscle lose weight whatever it is it doesn't matter you just know you're going to the goal because everybody into the gym brother everybody has different goals when they step into the gym but the first thing you need to know uh, the first step is you have to set a goal you cannot go into the gym and not have a goal goals consist of deadlines they consist of what you're trying to accomplish for example me when I go into the gym I know that I'm trying to build muscle and cut fat that's my main objective when I go in so I create a, a plan for me, for me to accomplish a goal in a certain amount of time. Uh, uh, so one of my plans is that I got to make sure that I have the proper foods that I'm eating, the proper amount, the proper type, because with the workouts that I do, it's going to call for a lot of energy. So if I when I set my goal to gain like six to ten pounds of muscle then I know what I'm doing in the gym. I create a workout, I create a food plan, I create my rest time, and I follow those until I reach my plan, I reach my goal. So that's the first thing you have to do, is you have to set a goal to accomplish before you ever step into the gym. You need to know exactly what you want to do. And for some people, they don't know how to do that, so it's best to get a personal trainer, a fitness trainer, instructor that can help you along the way to get to that point. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer you workout plans and food plans so if you cannot afford a trainer you can at least have the workouts and the food and you can to attempt to do the thing, do those things without a trainer. Okay, so that's the first step instead of goal. The second step is create a plan, a plan of action. A lot of people going back to set a goal. A lot of people walk into the gym not knowing what they're going to do, not knowing the first step to take once they hit the gym. They don't know if they're going to get on the treadmill for 10 minutes, 20 minutes. They don't know if they're going to get on the elliptical, the stepper. Uh, they don't know what to lift, dumbbells or a barbell. They just go into the gym and they thinking about what they're going to do. And it gets frustrating for a lot of people to go into the gym and not know what you're going to do. And you continue to do that over weeks, you eventually get bored, you get tired of thinking, you don't know what muscle you're building, and so you quit. And a lot of people start their workouts and they quit because they don't have a goal and they did not create a plan. Again, plans that I will offer you will be structured and they will give you exactly what you want when you do the workouts. Uh, so when you when you go into a gym, when you go into the gym, make sure that you have a plan of action. Know what muscles you're gonna work, know what exercises you're gonna do so that you will be you will be time efficient. You go in, you know you're gonna be in for an hour, you know exactly what you're gonna do. You're gonna be in there for an hour and a half, you know exactly what you're gonna do. You know exactly what muscles you're gonna work. You're not gonna be working in triceps and then lead a tricep machine and go to the legs and then lead the legs and go to the biceps. You're just not going to be able to accomplish your goals sporadically doing different exercises or lifting different muscles, different weights for different muscles. Okay, so again, set a goal. Have a plan of action when you're eating, when you're working out, and you rest. And the third step to success in reaching your goal is to get started. A lot of people have problems starting their workout. They want to work out. They want to lose the weight. They want to build the muscle. 
but they find themselves not having the motivation to get up and get started. And setting goals and a plan of action will help you get started. Okay, because you know exactly what you want to accomplish. You know how long it's going to take for you to accomplish it. You know what plan of action you're going to take. You know exactly what muscles you're going to work. You know what cardio you're going to do. And that's going to help you get started. If you don't set that goal, you don't create a plan of action, then getting started will be much more difficult for you. But you have to get started. Will you ever accomplish anything sitting at home being, being procrastinating, procrastinating on what you say that you need to do? Okay? So let's get started. You know, don't don't talk yourself out of it. You'll be much happier when you start seeing results because you set a goal, create a plan of action, and you got started. Okay? Now for some people, getting started is not hard at all for them. So what do they do? They get started, they don't they don't like work hard. So they go to the gym, they get started, and then they lift in lightweight, they'll treadmill for two or three minutes, uh, five minutes, and, and then they continue to do that, and then they're not seeing results, so they quit anyway. Look, nothing good comes from doing things the easy way. You, you're gonna have to work hard. You have to put the work in. Hard work leads to success. Pain comes with hard work sometimes. I always say, there's no success without pain. So, you're just gonna have to deal with that. If you want to reach your goal, understand that you're gonna be uncomfortable sometimes. It's not gonna be easy sometimes. You're gonna be tired sometimes. You're gonna be sore sometimes. But at the end of the day, your goal should mean more to you than the pain and the struggle that you go through. And for different people, the pain and the struggle is harder. But for some people, it's not as hard. But either way it is, you have to be willing to do whatever it takes to get what you want. And so you're going to have to work hard. Put the work in. I promise you, those who work hard seize the fruit of their labor. The Bible tells you that. You will see the fruit of your labor if you work hard. Okay, so that's the fourth step. What would he, what did we say? We said you want to set a goal, create a plan of action, get started, and work hard. Okay, now once you do those four steps, the last step, which is the fifth step to my steps to success, is you have to stay consistent. You cannot go into the gym with a workout with the right mindset, with a plan of action, and, and getting started, and working hard, but you're doing it twice a week, twice every other week, once a month, three times a month. You have to, when your plan of action, you have to set the amount of days that you're gonna work out and, and, and how you're gonna accomplish that goal, okay? And I would tell you, inconsistency will make you uncomfortable, it will discourage you, it will make you not see results, and make you not want to work out. You have to be consistent with anything that you do, okay? So when you get that, when you start doing that hard work, stay consistent with it. Four days a week, if you commit to four days a week in your workout, do four days a week. You may have something to come up. Let's say you want to work out Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, or something comes up on one of those days, okay? Well, Wednesday has to be your makeup day. Do not skip four days a week. It doesn't matter if you have to get that day in on the weekend. Get your four days. If that's your goal, and you have a plan of action, then you need to stick to that plan. So, it's just the way life is. You're gonna to have to work hard, you gotta stay consistent, okay? And when you do that, give me my word, you will find success. Yeah, I can't tell you if it's gonna be a week, a month, six months, a year, two years. Everybody's different. Everybody's attitude, everybody's work ethic is different. But I will tell you, if you follow those five steps, you will be successful at whatever you do. Okay, so to recap, you want to set a goal, create a plan of action, get started, 
work hard and stay consistent. If you do that, I'm telling you, you'll reach a goal. Take it to somebody who has done it. You know many people have done it. They study successful people and they've done it. Okay? So let's make it happen. Let's set those goals and let's set them plan of actions. And let's get started and I'll work our bus off and just stay consistent with it. And you will get the body that you want. Whatever it is you set, you properly prepare for it and you will get it. Okay? Alright. Everybody have a great day, man. Thank you for listening to me. I'm going to bring a lot more to you. Let's make it happen. Bad Bodies by Derek. That's what you're going to get. Bad Bodies by Derek. Have a good day.